I'd like to take a moment now to recognize another individual who uh, was uh, a patient at West Park and had a very significant impact uh, both on the foundation and certainly West Park on Anne. Uh, the person that I'm speaking of is Anne Graham. Anne Graham was a patient here at West Park and uh, during the 1980s. And her family is, uh, is here today, and I think I must have missed you on the way in. Well, I'm sitting right at the same table. At any rate, thank you very much for, for, for coming. Um, they've asked me to, to read this note uh, about Anne and, and about Anne's life. Anne Graham was a patient at West Park in the 1980s and was grateful for the care that she received and recognized West Park and her will with a very substantial gift. Her estate is being directed to uh, the new hospital building. Most of us never had the pleasure, most of us in the room today did not have the pleasure of, uh, of meeting Anne. So here's a little bit of, of uh, who Anne was, described by her family, her brother Mark and his wife Denise, who are with us here today. Anne was the only daughter of Duncan and Esther Graham, the rose between four brothers, as Anne would uh, call her brothers, she called them the bothers, but she was the rose between four brothers, uh, Bruce, Frank, David, and Mark. In 1980, Anne was enjoying her early 20s. She had just completed a program at Sheridan College and started a full-time job. She was expecting to become engaged to her long-term boyfriend. Then, in 1980, she was involved in a very serious car accident on the way to work. Anne suffered what is called a closed head injury, which resulted in significant brain damage and related motor control issues. Anne took many years to, recovery, to recover. She was initially at the Toronto Western, then at Mississauga Hospital, and eventually Anne arrived here at West Park in the spring of 1981. The task at hand for Anne and West Park staff was a daunting one, to relearn essentially everything, to walk, to talk, to read, to write, to eat, things that we simply take for granted. But she worked hard, and through the help of West Park and the support of friends, neighbors, and Anne's church, and did a re uh, uh, eventually rejoin the family. Beyond the physical and mental recovery, West Park also helped the healing process of the entire family, especially her mother and father. They were here with Anne every step of the way, and well, Mark and his brothers expected that their parents would be worn down after a day in and day out of the recovery pro process. In instead, they found that they were actually quite invigorated and in a very positive frame of mind by the daily successes, as uh, some were small and some were large, but they were all successes. This was especially due to the support that they found here at West Park. The surroundings of West Park also helped healing on the weekends, the whole family would visit and especially enjoy family picnics among the trees in the green space here at West Park. When Anne finally did return home, the rehabilitation did not stop there. With guidance and programs provided by West Park, uh, Anne's mother and father would supervise while Anne would go through the daily exercises. And I gather the brothers, if they were available, they joined in too. Uh, it was a real family affair in, in helping Anne return to health. As the years progressed, Anne had some long-term effects of her accident, but she maintained her very sharp sense of humor and her enthusiasm for adventure. For instance, Frank and David would bring Anne along on some of their golf adventures. She'd be happy, tilly hat on top of her head, sunglasses on, and She'd uh, start off at the, at the first hole as a passenger in the golf cart. Not long after they were out of sight of the clubhouse, they'd let Anne take the wheel. It was terrifying. <laughs> she'd start off nice and slowly, but then she started laughing and driving a little more quickly and then a lot more erratically. Apparently trees were in danger, sand traps were in danger, Frank and Dave were in danger, and Anne was mis mischievously laughing all the way. When they'd asked Anne uh, how her golfing adventure was, she would respond very quickly with something like, golfy. Uh. When Anne uh, worked to establish her will, Anne specifically mentioned supporting West Park. 
in part because of the fantastic job that West Park did in healing her so many years ago, but uh, more significant to, uh, it, w it was really West Park that uh, put up with Anne for so long, and so that's, that's what she said, West Park put up with me. I think uh, that probably wasn't uh, entirely true. She sounds like she was quite delightful. In 1980, they almost uh, lost Anne in the car accident that changed her life and nearly claimed her life. Uh, but they had a number of years after the, the accident. Anne passed away in June of 2014 as a result of the, last, of the lasting side effects of the accident. But the family was blessed to have an additional 34 years with Anne, to have her uh, love them and to be loved uh, and, to, and to love her. West Park paid, played a huge uh, and important role in making this possible. In June of 2015, the family had the honor of executing Anne's will to recognize those that had contributed so much to Anne's life. Frank and Mark hosted the event at their church, and each group came up one by one to receive Anne's gift. Uh, their, Anne's father was there to share in this experience and to um, present uh, the gifts that had finally come to, to fruition, the gifts that Anne wanted to give. Sadly, their father passed away in September of 2015, and uh, they know that uh, he would have loved to be here today to hear Anne's story told publicly and to recognize the very special gift that she meant, that, that she made. In closing, West Park was a very, a very clearly an important part of Anne's successful, successful recovery from her accident. The expertise, patience, commitment, and sincere caring that West Park showed the entire family was reflected in her outcome. We know that uh, if Anne were asked what she thought of her West Park spirit, uh, experience, Anne would, in her curious, sarcastic, and snide sense of humor, quickly respond with a big mischievous grin and say, Parkified. So it sounds like Anne had um, a whole lexicon that was hers alone. And uh, she would also say, bless you all. So thank you, Mark and Denise, for being with us today and for allowing us to share your very moving message about your sister's life. We are truly grateful for Anne's generosity, for your family's generosity, and you can be assured that her spirit will live on here in, with her legacy at, at West Park. So thank you very much for sharing this story. Please pass along to your, your brother, to the other brothers or bothers, I guess, as, as Anne would call them, uh, how, uh, how pleased we were to receive Anne's gift and how much it means to, to West Park and all of us. So thank you again.